step into our time machine yeah. with Dr. Mrs. Who. Wow. And let's do this. Welcome to This Week in History. Dun, dun, dun. And we're starting on May 2nd. Yes, 1972. Actor and professional wrestler Dwayne <coughs> Johnson was born. Of course, you guys know him as The Rock. Yes, sir. Now, he's widely considered one of the uh, all-time greatest professional wrestlers. Mm. Now, The Rock wrestled for eight years for the World Wrestling Federation before beginning his film career. He uh, is uh, now one of the highest grossing box office stars of all time. He has been part of the film franchise of Fast and the Furious since its fifth installment, Fast Five, in 2011. Now, this led to the spin-off Hobbs and Shaw, which I didn't really like, in 2019, and other successful roles, including Disney's Moana, mm -hmm. which I liked, and Jumanji Fantastic. Yeah. Now, Welcome to the Jungle was another one in 2017, and mm -hmm. The Rock published his best-selling autobiography, The Rock Says, in 2000 and started his own film production company in 2012. Now, he's 48 years old. He is the most followed man in the world with over 232 million, million followers. On Instagram. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? <laughs> Let's watch. All right. <laughs> And I still, I still remember having the Rock Clock app. He had an alarm rock clock, clock app. What does it say? He used to wake you up in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Rock Time clock to app. get up, you know, and get moving. So he'd wake you up for gym, mm. wake you up for work. Oh, it was just great to see <clears throat> someone so good looking waking you up in the morning. Oh dear, let's uh, head back into that time machine, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, after you. <laughs> May 2nd, 2011, Osama bin Laden, the Islamic militant and terrorist, died at age 54. Now, he was shot and killed in Abbottabad, Pakistan, by Navy SEALs during Operation Neptune Spear. Born into a wealthy Saudi Arabian family, bin Laden helped to fund Mohajideen, or Mujah. Mujahideen yeah. forces, rather, in Afghanistan against the Soviets before founding Al Qaeda in 1988. Banished by his country, he established a base in Sudan before moving to Afghanistan, from where he issued fatwa against the United States. Attacks by Al Qaeda followed around the world, including the 1998 U.S. embassy bombings and, of course, the September 11 attacks on the United States. He was finally tracked down and killed by U.S. Special Forces, May 2nd, 2011, and buried at sea. Now, a lot of people, you know, uh, I actually had so much tension writing this particular piece because I didn't want to seem like we're celebrating uh, a, a figure like that. Yeah. But the truth is, what he did changed everything uh, in terms of the war on terror and, of security course, and security, all. international security at airports, traveling, uh, identification of people as they move around. Mm -hmm. It changed so much, uh, just True. his actions. So, uh, yeah, quite significant All right. this weekend. While we're still in the time machine, let's play, uh, press another button. Yeah. Let's do 2nd May 2008 again. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man, the American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name produced by Marvel Studios, is the first film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm. the MCU. Now the film stars Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark uh, slash Iron Man, alongside Terrence Howard, Jeff Bridges, uh, Sean Taub, and Gwyneth Paltrow. And uh, now in the film, following his escape from captivity by a terrorist group, world-famous industrialist and master engineer Tony Stark builds a mechanized suit of armor and becomes the superhero Iron Man, as released in the United States on May 2nd as the first film in Phase 1 of the MCU. Now it grossed over... $585 million on its $140 million budget, becoming the eighth highest grossing film of 2008. The film was praised by critics for its acting, particularly Downey's because it was superb, screenplay, direction, yeah. Yeah. Uh, visual effects, and action sequences. Yeah. It was selected by the American Film Institute as one of the 10 best films of 2008 and received two nominations at the 81st Academy Awards for Best Sound Editing, Best Visual Effects as well. Two sequels have been released, Iron Man 2, 2010, and Iron Man 3 in 2013. Mm. And please don't make any more because we like them just the way they are. <laughs> you just might ruin it. <laughs> Let's see this. While he was imprisoned in a cave by a terrorist group called the Ten Rings. And we all remember how stark it is. So that was the first suit. That yes, first the Mark suit, I. The Mark I. <laughs> and it was very significant for Robert Downey Jr. because that was his comeback mm -hmm. to movies after a long break. Yeah, he was cancelled yeah. for a while, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, 
Story for another day. Hope you liked time inside our time machine. Do come back again next week when it's Dr. Mrs. Who. Actually, just Titi. <laughs> we'll be back to stay tuned. Let's take a break.